today I got F97 PKZ. Now, I already know that's a Chrysler. Like I've said on X, I've been able to drive it at least two times. The question is, where is it? Like, uh, just need to find it. I love that the van that I tried to drive last week was able to start up or at least move somewhere else around the lot. So, at least they got that working. Uh, if it's, okay, good. Found it. Right here. And the window was left open, but what are you gonna do? Okay, let's get things started. The van checks out good. It's thankfully, let me lock my truck for a second. Okay. So, I don't know why Via insists on having these QR codes on the side of each vehicle and everything, because one, they never work. And two, like, like, um, you know, the passenger just see the plate, they get inside, we, we ask for their name, and sometimes they say yes, and yes is not a name, people. And basically, you know, we just, we just drive. But basically, I said all that to say that, you know, you know, just, just happy that, you know, I got a Chrysler for today. Like, just like last week, I'm working from 6 to 3 and, um, no, 6 to 2.30 and everything. And then um, tomorrow, I'm going to be working from 6 to 4. It's just a lot that is a lot of driving that's going to be going on and everything and um i'm happy with my usual tuesday night appointment we're going to be on zoom and stuff only because of the fact that like i already know that after today i cannot i i did not want to go anywhere like if i could just lay in my bed until i wake up the, until i wake up at 4 p.m tomorrow that um, no 4 a.m tomorrow that'd be great but, you know, I have to say, that we'll see how it goes. Right now, we got about 10 minutes until it's game time. Right now, we got three quarters of gas in the, in the thing. But I think I'm going to go to the gas station right now. Only because of the fact that I don't want, I don't want um, anything to just come in the way between me and some decent earnings for today. So... We'll see how it goes. It's right now 8.02 and yeah, I was able to go to the gas station afterwards and basically I was able to take care of um, one, like one shuttle run and I would say like three line runs and now I got another one to happen. Like this time instead of trying to go somewhere um, around lunchtime or trying to go somewhere and then, you know, it's pick up at it, pick up at it, pick up at it. Um, they basically, um, instead, I'm just going to go to, um, I just, I was able to pack myself some lunch last night. I got myself a triple decker PB&J, which in the long run is going to be worth it. Because the apple that I had for breakfast that you heard me chomping on at the lot is just going, like, it's starting to fade away. But I also got a banana and an orange inside. And four water bottles and stuff. Because, you know... Oh, I've been feeling good with the fact that I've been losing weight and everything and I even emotionally feel better like if I'm still pre-diabetic fine but as long as I'm not in that line where I actually have diabetes and everything because let me tell you it's not fun it killed my grandfather it gave my dad prostate cancer he's been in remission for the last four years but you know you know just and actually this month will make four years years because because he got surgery during the height of COVID. But, um, yeah, that's that. So, let's continue. So, uh, a few line runs down. And just finished an express run here to Exchange Place. What does that make me? A man that earned a PB&J. Like, seriously. Ugh, ow. Ugh. Right so right now a little bit after 11 30 i was able to book myself for next week like next week i actually booked to have a wheelchair van from 6 to 11 only because like lately when i drive the wheelchair vans it's not too bad but i said all that to say that i'm just gonna wait here until i got some pickups because my terminal i'm supposed to report to is um city hall anyway so might as well just quickly get a bite to eat and yeah, got about three hours to go. So we'll see how it goes. 
my next passenger was was waiting right at Exchange Place. And, you know, after that, it was that shuttle run and then another. And right now, I'm right by these two Innovative Coach Van Hool CX45s. Now, already, like, I'm kind of back and forth about the Van Hool C-Series, but I love the livery of this company. Like, it looks really cool. And I love that there's individual names on the motor coaches, too. I just noticed that, but, you know, interesting. And also, I want to know, like, okay, these are diesel variants. Like, I've been wanting to see the electric variant of the Van Hool C-Series and everything. Because right now, they and MCI are the only ones with electric buses like i think prevo is gonna have something soon but we'll see but right now i'm just relaxing i got about two hours to go and you know just gonna relax in the van so i did some more research on innovative coach and turns out um um it's a company based out of pennsylvania and um basically like they're basically i love how simplified their fleet is all they have are Van Hool CX-45s and 35s. That's it. Like, honestly, I wish that could be maybe not a norm for some companies and everything. Like, there's some what, that, you know, prefer other manufacturers and everything. Like, I know um, for Granville Charters in Imagination, uh, um, um, in Powtown and stuff, in my, in my first book, well, not in Powtown in Granville. I just say Granville, but I said all that to say that um, uh, for that company, I chose the Mercedes Benz Tour Rider as the main bus for that fleet and stuff. Although, admittedly, like the problem is that there's no 35 foot motor coach, at least on the U.S. market, that has electrical brakes. So, I guess as a backup, maybe I would choose the CX35. Even though I'm not a fan of the the design of it, admittedly the newer one I love the more aggressive look. But I said all that to say that um, that basically, basically um, my mind's all over the place. But base like basically with regards to the with regards to the um, CX35s, I guess it wouldn't it wouldn't be too bad. And everything because you know I often see Van Hool C models on line runs and charters and everything and not to mention if you checked out um Jay Wang's vlog vlog on YouTube and stuff um he mentioned that the uh, Mercedes-Benz Tour Rider has a lot of similarity to Van Hool's but that's that while the motor coach operators are away I actually want to say this Van Hool I, like I know we've had some back I've had some back and forth feelings with regards to the C series but admittedly it is um your most popular coach at least on the North American market so I'll give you that but if anything if it's something that I would definitely like to see inside of your buses in particular is definitely electrical brakes like it's something that could probably um give you an advantage over the other or makers and everything like mci and prevo at least here in north america and i'm sure you probably have it in europe but if you could at least have electrical brakes in um um, for your buses for the North American market, both the C series and the TDX series, that would be really nice and everything, especially because of the fact that you have the CX 45, you have the CX 35. We don't have a 35 foot coach, that'd be nice. Okay, so I was able to take a little line run to FedEx and everything, and even though this isn't the terminal I'm supposed to report to, I was close by and at this point like it's now like if i drive within range of a terminal which the one i'm supposed to report to is journal square nothing against journal square but basically i'm just staying away from it for right now so that way you know i could just have some nice downtime i have about an hour left and everything but um the day has been going so well that i'm i may just end the day at like two o'clock like if I get to relax, like, there's no cool-looking buses here at this corner. But, basically, if I get to relax, then great. I could basically be done for... I could basically wait here until 2 p.m. And then I could just deadhead back and everything. 
granted i wish i was a little bit closer to the lot so it wouldn't have to take long and so um not as much gas will be consumed like basically a quarter tank was eaten up so far and everything but you know it's mainly because of the fact that i take shortcuts that's another thing via update the driver app because of the fact that like like um the more we're likely to shake take shortcuts um the less gas will be consumed because the chryslers are not as fuel efficient as the benz in fact they take up way more gas than the benz minus the hybrid the hybrid the hybrid consumes about the same amount and everything but it's still insane when you see the same picture that is on the thumbnail and basically you see another via van in the background if you got good eyesight I, you know I'm done. So, that's it. So, all together, I was able to, you know, take care of, like, one little line run. And thankfully, it was right over to Journal Square. Like, I was able to just relax at the 7-Eleven on Hoboken and everything. And, you know, just when I, just when, around 156, I believe, um, I got a request for a quick shuttle to Journal Square. Or, um... Um, two older women, like, one old enough to probably be my mom, but, and then another one probably old enough to be my grandma. I don't know for sure. My parents are in their 50s. But, said all that to say that I am done. And I already started up my truck. So, that's how I found out that it was 88 degrees outside. <sighs> but, it's around the end of May, so I'm not so surprised. What I am shocked with is how fast the month went by. But either way, that's that. And yeah, I'm happy that I was able to make my own lunch ahead of time. Only because of the fact that uh, I knew how crazy it would be today and stuff. And, you know, tomorrow the hours are going to be a little bit longer. And then, like, basically I'm going to rest up until Friday. Friday I'm headed to, um, heading out and everything and... You know, just going to be back for next week. So, again, next week, um, Tuesday is going to be a little bit lengthier. But um, on Wednesday, I'm working from 6 to 11 with a wheelchair van and stuff. Which, I don't mind shorter days with a wheelchair van. Because, one, you get paid more when you drive the wheelchair vans. And, two, like, I don't know. The last two times I've taken it, it and both were not planned at all. Like the like the runs were smooth. The you know the the disabled passengers, like I said, they're frankly more civilized than regular passengers and stuff. Not saying that there are ones that aren't. Like in many ways, it depends on sometimes the demographic and other times the psychographic and everything. Like like um, for instance, you can have like a crazy mean black person for instance i could say it and um basically and then basically you can have another ethnicity that some that you know is generally very kind but you know everyone has a bad day without going into detail and stuff so that's that so you know that i'm gonna head home just gonna relax and everything um and then later on, I'll have another PB&J ready because, you know, it just felt good having some lunch ready as opposed to going out and buy, uh, planning to buy something. And then, you know, a lot of craziness happens. So I'm just going to get on the highway as soon as possible because at this point, I believe the um, parents are going to be um, letting their kids out of school and everything. And you know, by the time I get home, um, like this, well, you're already watching this on YouTube right now, but basically that's when I have, that's when I'll have this video uploaded. But either way, see y'all later.